Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, another episode of Industry Giant 2 coming at ya. Uh, we've completed every campaign so far except Z-Files. Uh, when I got past Rockstone, I, I kind of really needed like a serious break away from Industry Giant 2. This game is fun as F. Like, I, re I really enjoy playing this game. Um, some of these missions can be incredibly unforgiving because the one game mechanic that always drives me nuts is the time limit mechanic. Uh, that and platforming, but we're not getting into that. Uh, when it really came down to it, I looked at the Z-Files mission and I'm like, oh my bonkers, skip. <laughs> I just really needed a break, I needed to step away, but it's been a while. It's been well over, I, I don't even know. I release videos like every day, I don't know when I pick up a campaign and put it back down. Um, so, let's get right to Z-Files. I went and I actually tried out Crash Landing on my own just to see how doable it was, and it was crazy tight on the timing. So what we're going to do is we're going to play through it. I'm going to show you exactly everything I did, and maybe we'll come up with some new strats along the way, but I found a method that really worked out for me. Uh, I usually read all this text, but the problem is the resolution is so damn high, I can't read it. <laughs> Uh, basically, aliens crashed, and we need to get their spaceship back up and running. We need to bring a bunch of materials, goods, and supplies to get them going. So, we're going to load up Crash Landing. And I'm going to hold the minus key just to stop time. Uh, I have a number pad on my computer, so the minus and the plus change the game speed. So, I held down minus. It's stuck on January 1st. Hard to tell uh, if you can't see it. We have $3.8 million at our disposal. We need to bring electronic components, 128 of them, and 16 of aluminum, steel, high-grade steel, plastic donuts, fruit juice, preserved meat, and garden gnomes. The electronic components are going to be the hardest because they're the most complex item in this chain. However, I'm confident that we can make those in a very short order. So... Let's take a look at what we've got. We've got a special storage space. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I almost forgot. Boop. Boop. Uh, for whatever reason, the good old games version of this does not respect the audio volume. The, vo the volume levels. Audio volume. Gdrr. The volume levels. So, the buildings, the cars, the birds, the water, the everything ambient noise is ridiculous ridiculously loud so i had to shut that off on the quick fast so we have a special storage space here we have a couple of towns and we've got some resources that we need to bring to it a lot of these products now i know how to play the game so i'm just saying from experience a lot of these products are going to require steelworks chemical factories glass works a lot of raw materials are going to cost a lot in the manufacturing process so, let's go ahead and take a look at our shops. I always say work backwards, right? Take a look at the shops you can build, and then figure out how to make those products. Right now, we only have groceries and electronic equipment. So, the problem is, again, electronic equipment costs a lot to start up, and I need money to bankroll this whole project. So, let's just do some quick mental math here. Um, I need at least a steelworks. I need... Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four harvesting mines, one harvesting derrick. I'm going to need to produce fruit juice. Donuts require wheat, if I remember. Garden gnomes require plastic. I'm going to need like seven million. Maybe that's a little high. I'm going to need like five million to bankroll all this industry. And I only have four million right now, so that's not really going to cut the mustard. What is the most populated... Roswell, Northwell, Littlewell, Starwell, Blackwell. Okay, I get it. These are all Rosewell jokes. Rosewell jokes. Roswell, Rosewell, say it as you will. It's probably Roswell, because Rosewell would be R-O-S-E-W-E-L-L. -L. Uh, I spell R Roswell, I-D-G-A-F. Cool? Awesome. Moving on. <laughs> Okay, so we have Starwell, Roswell, Blackwell. Northwell looks really, really light, as does Littlewell. So let's go through the list and see what we can produce and sell. So shops, fruit, meat, milk, 
juice, canned meat or preserved meat or whatever it's called, and donuts. TVs, radio, phones. Okay. How difficult would it be to make, like, telephones? Plastic and copper wire. Um... This one, there was an information. Is there a way for me to tell how much I could sell like phones for? There isn't. Unfortunate. Um, what I did with my original run was I played this a lot like the very, very first map I ever played. And I showed some tips on how I played that in, like I said, the very first video. But effectively, the way it worked was throw down a storage and then throw down a shop. Right? Throw down like a grocery store, like bam, bam. Okay? We got some demand, we got some we got some stuff. And then I build all of my production so it's within range of the storage, so I don't have to bugger about with the transportation network. The unfortunate thing about this is a lot of this land is crap. Zero sixteen a lot of this is just desert. So the problem is that makes it a little more difficult. We're going to have to do some mental math on whether or not that's an even valid strat. Um, first of all, I want to answer my first question of how much are telephones worth? If they're not worth crap... Come on, I saw two. Is the only two, like, right here? The minerals are on the other side, so I kind of want to be on the other side if I can. Uh, I don't think it matters. Let's see that. So how much can I sell telephones for? 34,000. That's not too shabby. The only problem is I have 3 point some odd million. I would need an electronics factor, an electronics industry for the phone itself. I would need a miner to get the copper. I would need a steelworks to make the copper wire. I would need an oil drilling derrick and a chemical factory. So quick math here. That's 1.1 million. That's 1.7 million. That's, let's say, 2 million. 2 million to bankroll the project. And how much is the demand? Just two? Um, I would also have to transport that somewhere else. So how much, how much telephone could I get out of you guys? Three. Hmm. I don't know if that's a valid plan. When I went with agriculture, the benefit of that was it's a slow, steady income. And without any transit, I don't have to worry about maintenance, repairs, breakdowns, reliability. None of that crap. None of that matters. It's a 34,000. Um, that could pay off in a while. Hmm. I almost want to reset the map, and I'll show you how I did it the first take. So let's do that. I'm just going to go ahead and nuke this file. Campaign, Z files, crash landing, yep. And the second it loads, I'm going to hold down the minus key. Okay, so I'll show you, I'll show you how I did it before. It was a lot like, I think it's Bark County. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now fireworks are fine. Do you hear all that? Do you hear how loud the birds are compared to the music audio? I have the sound and the music on the exact same level. They're, they're the same volume according to the game, but they are F loud. Okay, so what I want are consistent products that I can sell every month. Every month we're making money. That's my plan. Four, five, four, four, five. I'm looking at fruit specifically because that one seems to be the most variable. Um, that looks reasonable to me. Now, let's see what we can do on the production side. I probably should have checked this before I dinked around with anything else. <laughs> Ones, twos, ugh. They let me build an agriculture, like a grocery store, but this is crap. Oh, well, I made it work. You saw the proof in the pudding as I got to the next round. Now, uh, the city turns purple. You might be asking why, because this structure has an influence on the city. This is bad. This is bad influence. Uh, people don't like to live next to pollution and crapping animals constantly. Who bloody knew? 
Um, so I can only really produce like two or three of a product at a time. What if I turn this way down? Okay, so I need three milk, two meat, and that'll max out the demand because I turned up the price. So what was it? Uh, crap, I forgot. Two meat, three milk. Oh, I didn't hit save. Two meat, three milk. Okay, if I can get into those ranges, we're selling at the top of the game. Cool, that worked out great. I'm now going to build a storage facility. This doesn't have to be very big at all. Uh, but I want to build it as far away from the grocery store as I can. Cool. So here we go. Milk. Sell for three. Meat. Sell for two. And we're going to set animal products to cap out at one. So in case I want to do anything else here, if the production goes a little crazy crazy, not that big of a deal. Uh, I really wish this game was optimized for... I think I'm playing it 1920 by 1080 or something, and this is just ridiculous. Uh, the alternative was I could have played it at a much lower resolution and then zoomed it out, but then it would have looked pixelated and crappy. Okay, what else can I sell here? Because I want to maximize my stuff. Fruit. Uh, two a month. There's 12 months in a year, so if I can make 24 fruit, that would max that out as well. Um, let's talk about something when it really comes to production. Um, I've already gone through and I changed the price on some of these items to make them a little higher in demand. Um, if you're not aware, you can mess with the price slider to alternate or change what you're selling a product at. So if you're not making the full demand, you can mess with the money here and make it more expensive, reducing the demand. Now, one of the things that we need to figure out is, was our initial investment actually worthwhile? So let's take a gander here. Let's talk about meat, okay? I'm making 2.6 a month. I'm actually only selling two of it. Uh, the worker costs, let's just add all the costs. So 1,900, I just have a calculator on my phone real quick. Uh, 460, so add the worker cost. The cost per unit is 320, plus 320. Uh, because I'm making two, but I'm actually making 2.6. So we'll do add 160. So the cost for this factory, this this meat ranch, cattle ranch, meat ranch, <laughs> uh, cost me $3,160 a month. Just to have it running and produce product. Over here, I'm selling two of the product at 7845 so I'm actually I have to sell half of a piece of meat, and this is making me bank. Uh, it's going to be making me about eleven thousand dollars a month. Now, if you're starting off with low investment, this isn't a bad plan, right? It gets us some money, some some traction going. Uh, milk is valued slightly less, but I'll be able to sell three of them. Uh, so the same thing applies. We could do the mental math, and again, I'm cheating with the calculator. Because it is early o'clock, and I can't math this early in the morning. I just, I just can't. You're like, hey, John, what's the most complicated math you know? Four, four, four plus four. <laughs> it's like four, four, four plus four. Okay. <laughs> Your brain broke, bro. Your brain broke. Um, we'll do the same thing with fruit. <laughs> just a segue. Um, I would like to produce as much as I possibly can... Selling at 9000 a piece. Uh, these are a little cheaper than the cattle ranches. Uh, 16, I get, oh, 16, 18. Now, what, like I said before, what might have been the best plan, the best strat for this might have been go right into electronics. But I wanted to show you how I did it. Because I miss, I miss Bart County, which is the first mission I ever played. Uh, and this is how I handled it. 18 isn't bad. What did I say? I need 24. Let's slap down, turn on the fruit. If we boost the wages, is that worth it over time? So let's do some quick math here again. Uh, I need... So here. Yes, I'm human. I need a calculator. Uh, 720... Uh, minus, what is the other value? 480. 
We're going to multiply that times 12. So that's an additional $2,880. But I'm producing five more pieces of fruit. And how much am I selling fruit for? 9000 Yeah, totally worth it in the grand scheme of things. Uh, 24 would be my ideal for level of production. But uh, I see some months here that are three. So two times six, because winter and spring. So that's six months out of the year. Two times six is 12. Three for the other two. Three times six is 18. 18 plus 12 is actually 40. No, 30. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. 30. So I need 30 pieces of fruit to max out. What do I have here again? 23. Um, I don't think I'll get... Now, if I only produce 7 pieces of fruit, is that worth it? That's another check I want to do real quick here. So, uh, normal utilization... I just want to make sure that when I did this solo, I didn't actually use a calculator. But now that I'm revisiting it and I'm talking to, you know, my viewers, my fans, my pals, I want to make sure that we have the right logic going in. Otherwise, all this goes kerfuff. So I know we've already spent a good chunk of the episode just doing the math, so to speak. But I want to make sure we do this right. Uh, seven times. So I just need seven more fruit times. How much are we selling it at? 9,000? That's 63000 over the year. The other thing we need to determine after worker costs and all that stuff is how long will it take to pay this off? This will actually take, if we don't take worker costs into consideration, this will take about five years to pay off. So that's another way to see if it's a valid investment. And the other thing is I only have nine years to get this all done. So I think this is good enough of a setup right now. Um, are there anything else? There's nothing else I can just grow and sell right away. Uh, so aside from Roswell, Blackwell was another really good spot. Oh, sevens, eights, sixes. What if we cut the city in half? We did like five, six, five. And then what's this? Five, six, four. That's pretty darn good in terms of revenue, yeah. Uh, we might also have to segregate these out. So this grocery store will have its own supply chain and then another grocery store with its own supply chain. So this is the farthest I can get to maintain that five, six, four. Uh, again, I'm just really looking at fruit because it seems to be the most variable. If I can sell two meat, four milk, that would be just stellar. I'm going to build this storage. I don't need, I don't need mega storage. I want to save as much money as I can. Medium storage, maybe? Especially if we go crazy on fruit, I'm going to need storage. How about there? Okay, two meat, four milk. Two meat, four milk. Let's get those basics done right. This land is absolutely awful. I don't know why I went this route originally. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, if we can get milk around the three range. I think I saw a three right there. Yep. Is that the best we got? 3.0. I want four milk. What does it take us to get four milk? The other production is fine. Let's go to the warehouse and tamp this down to one capacity for animal. And one capacity for... Agriculture. And actually, I gotta pop back here and do the same here. Yep. One. Oh, no! Uh, actually, agriculture can go ape. Right. That was the logic there. Take that back. <laughs> agriculture can go crazy. The way agriculture works, you plant a crop at a certain month, you harvest at a different certain month, and then you just get the product. So I need that to overflow as much as it can. Two meat... 5.1 milk, awesome. It takes care of both of those requirements. Easily. Uh, how much fruit can we sell? I can sell as much fruit pretty much as I can make. Uh, 19 I saw in there. More 19s. Let's do a 19 there. Double up sauce. 23. And I need how much? 3, 4, okay, so 3, 6, 9... 
Uh, 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24. 24 plus 9 is 33. Ugh. 33 plus 6 is 39. And I'm making 23. Could easily do another fruit. 21. That should be more than plenty. I am actually going to limit this to 6. Uh, because this one is going to be overproducing. So, this grocery store is locked in. What can I do with another grocery store here? So, what was the limit here? Highlighted in yellow. Right here is about where I want meat. I mean, I got all the demand I want. I just have to see what I can make of it. Oh, 2.5, 2.8. That's not bad. That's actually not bad at all. Let's see, 2.9, 2.5, you go right there. Okay, we are almost out of cash. So we've spent every single dollar that we can. Okay, I need uh, three meat, four milk. 2.3, 2.9, 3.8. Three point six, four point eight. I would rather overproduce than underproduce, I guess. Uh, this one can go like that. And do I have enough money for an agri a farm? Oh, I do. Oh my gosh, amazing. Okay, the numbers are not great here. I'm seeing nothing but like tens and elevens. Oh, twelve. Ooh, twelve. What am I going to do with a 12? Does a 12 even work? In terms of, like, will I get my money back? Does a 12 work? 9,000, that's just really rough mental math. That's 90,000 plus 18,000. I'm multiplying by 10 and then by the 2 for the 12. Oh my gosh, that's 108,000. Aside from worker costs, even if it's at 12, I think this will pay off in three plus years so i still feel this is worth it okay i now have eighty-two thousand dollars to my name i'm gonna hit plus a little bit <laughs> it took us 22 minutes to set up everything yeah this this map when i tried it i think i said it before was an absolute buzzer beater and i i literally finished it december 17th of the year like it was nuts Okay, so let's just pause everything. We already have had January come and go. So I want to see how much money we made just on that one month. 106,000? Oh, I want profit. I don't want turnover. 106,000. That's not bad. I'm just going to spin through February. Should be 212,000? 213,000? Because this is going to be consistent economic growth until the fruit comes in so 213 214 right around there should be my new total uh oh do i have to reopen the thing hold on slower down i did okay so we're getting about a hundred thousand every month a little over but a hundred thousand is a much more easily digestible human value right just more zeros at the end, no problem. Now, the next question is, I need to get goods into here. How do I do that? Okay. Okay, I came at this from the bottom, but it's good to know there's an entrance on the right side and on the bottom side. So all I'm doing is I'm grabbing the railroad track. I'm just clicking somewhere, I don't care. And the game does a fairly good job pathing for me. And this tells me there's an opening there. I'm just wiggling the mouse around, trying to see if there's any other openings, and I'm not seeing anything. Let's try from the top again. Okay. So I'm going to finish setting up our agricultural empire, because having the having the stuff on hand has been nice. Uh, let's see here. What can we get for demand? Always work backwards. What can we get for demand here? Five, sixes, sevens. It's not bad. 
And let's just pull this as far away as we can. Right there looks good to me. Uh, I'm going to let some time pass because I don't have enough money to do literally anything. So when are the months that this gets harvested? September. So around September, we should be really moving on some of these other products and getting the rest of the production chain going. Ah, water. So good. Okay. I'm just going to let time run a little bit. Don't need to micromanage it super, super hard in the early game because I don't have enough, enough money to do anything. Uh, four meat, five milk. Amazing. Amazing! I don't have enough money to build another... Oh, and now I do! Okay, these... I like this three here. Where was it? 3.2? Five milk. And, oh, I'm just going to keep the game going because I don't have enough money to build a factory anyway. Or a warehouse anyway. 5.3, that's not bad. I'm going to build this kind of as far away as I can. I think right here looks reasonable. Um, I could just build a mini storage and then upgrade it as the game progresses. Let's do that. A vehicle available, I don't care. Animal products, setting it to one. I'm taking this from almost a beginner level perspective. It's been a while since I played, and it's just nice to get back to it a little slowly. So that's exactly what I'm doing. With this agriculture run, we're building products that are easy to distribute because I don't have a transportation network. No need for one. Moving products back and forth is not a concern. I just produce the product, put it in a warehouse, it gets sold. Easy peasy, lemony squeezy. So as our money ramps up, we'll be able to just keep adding more production structures, selling different products or whatever. Um, I think after we're done with Starwell, I want to start working on the other things. Like garden gnomes are easy. That would I think they're just plastic. So that would be a, an oil extractor, a chemical plant, and a workshop, a, 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 hand, a hardware shop, a hardware building materials industry. Now, the thing that sucks about this mission is if I make these garden gnomes, I can't sell them. I can't sell any of this stuff that I'm going to be making. Oh, that's the wrong thing. 2.5, kind of what we got. 0 0.6. Yes, 2.5 is what we got. Uh, I needed four meats. Yep. Cool. Okay. Uh, oh, agriculture. Let's see what we can do about that. Oh, I don't have enough money. Haha! -ha! I'm literally $5,000 short. Bah, 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 bah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we just hit our cash cow because we were able to sell all our fruit. That worked out very, very well. Um, okay, 15. 15 seems like a good number. 18's even better. Looks like 18, 17, like right around... Oh, 20! Oh, hello. Hello there, buddy. Hmm... 22, 22 is our winner. Place. Fruit. Max it out because I'm sure we'll need to. And fruit is already limited out. Yep. Uh, it's. I mean, uh, summer and fall are going to gobble that up right there. That's 30. 30 demand. We have 27 production. Um, I wouldn't mind another fruit, st another fruit farm. So I need, what, four times six? So 
So 24. 24 and some change would be ideal. I think right here was the best spot for it. 17. I think there was an 18 over here. Did I do any better about this? Really can't. Uh, I want that 18. No reason to not maximize what we got. 22? Perfect. Okay, that gives us a lot of good backbone income. Just right there. Okay, let's take a look at the resources on the map. I'm just going to let the clock tick down a bit. Uh, Littlewell, Northwell don't seem to have the production, or, or I guess the demand, that I want. Yeah, one. One doesn't do me any good. I wouldn't sell it if it was anywhere less than four. Yeah, two there, then one there, then I'd have to sell it at normal price, and that sounds like a lot of suck. Okay, so, bauxite, precious metals, copper, oil, iron. I need glass. Uh, glass is silica sand. Oil, iron, lots of good stuff up there. Oh, okay. Glass right here. Uh, I need fruit juice? Fruit? Okay, fruit juice. How do I make fruit juice? Is it just fruit and glass or something? Two fruit, one glass. Okay. So one of the first things I could do is I could set up a small production chain here. Uh, I, I don't think anything else needs glass. Preserved meat. Is the preserved meat in glass or cans or what is it? Cans. Okay. So one of the first things we could do is since we're producing fruit here, I could set up a food production plant here. Uh, let's beef that up. A food production plant here, and then ship the goods to the destination. Uh, once we produce enough glass, I could just kibosh that entire network and then it's like done, right? I guess I should be concentrating on products that are farther away. But I think we'll be okay. Oh yeah, it is space to rotate. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Uh, let's maximize our space. Something like this. Methinks. I'm building heavy here because I think I want this to be my production hub. Okay. I need 210,000 for that. I need 50,000 for that, so I need at least 700,000 just for the glass production, and then I need an additional almost 400,000 for the food industry. I'm not going to build any of that until I have all the money, because every single month that passes, I have to pay upkeep. I have to pay the facility to just keep the lights on and stay maintained. And if we need to really be gentle about how much money we're spending or throwing away or whatever, I need to be incredibly careful how long I'm just letting a factory sit. Like, literally just sit. Did you already sell all your... F yeah, it's May. You already sold out. Easily. So how much is this bringing in every single month? Because this is my cash cow right here. Seventy-two thousand, nice. Uh, I didn't max out the meat here. Aren't we? Aren't we using four? Oh, three. Uh, let's turn that back a little bit. Three on the nose, perfect. Yep, we are selling as much of everything as we can, and I love it. Uh, three meat, four milk. We could probably change that to 2.9. 3.6. Let's just leave it at max. That's fine. A little bit of tweaking here and there pays off. So I've got 1.4 million right now. I'm going to wait until I have a little bit more. Because I need to build more transit. Um, I need a rail yard here. Um, I'll probably set the repair depot here. Or maybe here. Because all the trains are going to come to this eventually. 
I also don't want a ton of trains. I'd, I'd really like to ideally get this done with like two trains. That would be my... That would be what I would want for Christmas. 1.6 million. Not bad. Let August come and go. And then September's right around the corner. We're going to harvest all of our fruit. And don't forget, there's a few more farms that we've added since the last one, so the projected income is going to be a bit higher. Holding down minus, just to kill some time. Uh, I need a train station. I don't think it has to be too... I don't need like a four, a four wide. What I'm trying to do here is maximize, or I guess minimize the time in transit. By building the station all the way out here, you can see the silo or the warehouse is green which means these two structures can talk and interact with each other. I could build it right here, but the thing is that's a bit of extra distance that I'm not needing to travel for any bloody reason. So let's let's maximize a little bit here. Uh, neat thing about this game versus other games like Transport Tycoon Deluxe is the logistics network can overwrite each other. If I had five trains going back and forth between these two stations, it would be fine. It wouldn't be a problem at all. Um, it's actually kind of a neat, weird, nice thing. Uh, they'll just clip through each other. So, let's get started on what we need to get started on. Um, realistically, what I should be doing is working on electronics components, because that requires the most amount of time, energy, effort, whatever. Uh, the reality of the situation is I kind of want some quick wins. So we are going to get started on that. Uh, what, hang on. What was the path get to here? Okay. And the other trains are going to have to travel this regardless, so I don't really see too much of a need to trim this up. Yes, this is a travesty. I am building right on top of stuff. Like raw materials. Uh, I need a glass works. You're going to make glass right there uh, then I'm going to limit this to just two uh, because you're charged every single product you make there is zero reason for me to fill a warehouse full of stuff when I only need was it 16 16 fruit juice uh, next repair facility right there as promised and now let's just get a train going uh, I'm looking for cheap Cheap, cheap, cheap that can transport eight. These two are exactly the same price. Repair costs are cheaper on that one. Max speed is higher and operating costs are cheaper. I think that's our winner. Yep, that's our winner right there. I need you to pick up glass. Wait until done. And then go here. And drop it off. Uh, I now need a food processing facility, a food industry. Now, again, we're just going off of the warehouse. So I could build this all the heck over here to give me room for more whatever I want. So we're going to truck load two loads of glass to Starwell Central. Once those two loads of glass are done, then I'm going to just shut off the glass industry. I don't need it anymore. Uh, and every single month I have it, I incur costs. Now let's see here. 1350 It costs 50000 to blow it up. So what is that? Four years? Four years I'd start saving more money than having it just sit here. Uh, we're going to be playing for about eight more years, so I do feel that's important for us to just demo it whenever we're done with it. Oh, we have plenty of fruit here. This is great. Uh, let's take a look at fruit juice. What are we selling fruit juice for? Uh, let's turn that all the way up. 14000 a pop. It's interesting because I can sell a piece of fruit, you know, one unit of fruit for 9000 But the fruit juice for fourteen, and the fruit juice takes two units of fruit. So we're not making more money by adding more labor. 
technically. Uh, but it is another product to sell. So that's not that bad of a deal. Sitting on half a million right now. I literally need one more load of glass to make it. And you're done. Boop. And boop. Uh, the warehouse costs are minimal, so I'm just going to leave that be. And let's just pause the game right here. I want you to go here and pick up fruit juice. And I want you to load up. Hello? Full load? There we go. And drop it off there. Cool. So that is going to take priority. Uh, because you sell goods at the end or the beginning of the month, depending on how you look at it, and not continuously throughout the month, the train will get top priority in terms of the fruit juice. Now, I don't know why in the world... Yeah, I really wish I knew how to reverse... Oh, there we go. Did that work? Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to need this guy here because I need to make other stuff. Uh, let's slow down the clock a little bit. What is the other stuff I need to make? Is it donuts? Wheat and milk. Well, I already have milk production here. So I could just switch these guys to, to wheat and we can start working on donuts. I think we have enough fruit. We're in December, so there's no planting season right now. That works out great. Donuts. Let's turn the clock all the way down on that. Cool. Okay, getting some of this agriculture stuff out of the way. Uh, garden gnomes can be next, because I'm still going to have to incur a lot of costs setting up the infrastructure for all that rigmarole. So I need, let's just say 200,000. Uh, 750,000. I'm going to need about 1.2 million. I'm rounding up a little bit there. But about 1.2 million would handle all of my costs for setting up the gnome network. Uh, that doesn't include transit or the... So 1.3. 1. 1.4 for the train and all that. So I think the closest oil... I'm just slowing down the clock real quick. Let's see, we have oil, iron, copper. I almost want to set up there, so if I build a foundry and stuff, there's less work I have to do. Unless there's, like, a patch of oil that's, like, crazy close. Um, actually, I'll need oil for the electronics components, won't I? I'll need plastic. Plastic, okay. So it makes sense that I, I set up shop right here. Right here makes perfect sense. Uh... Actually, I'm going to wait until that train is done. I'm a little nervous. Um, in the original Industry Giant 2, uh, we're playing Industry Giant 2 Gold right now, which did come with a bunch of fixes and patches and whatever. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I see a problem. I sold some fruit juice. Oh, buckets. Why did I why did I kibosh all this? I see that I sold some fruit juice. That's a problem. I'm really glad I'm identifying that now though. Rats. Uh this should be enough. I thought our train was gonna be fast enough, but unfortunately a month ended while I was dinking around with stuff. So, guess what? Full glass... to there. That's okay. Small mistake. I should have just shut the factory down. Um, I'm actually a little too mindset of playing Endless, where you have to kind of think about these things. If you're gonna have a factory literally just sit forever, it doesn't do you any freaking good to have it sitting there forever. Um, and actually, I need more fruit. 
So we'll do one more year of fruit. Okay. Good. I'm really glad I'm catching myself here. This could be disastrous. Um, I actually completely slipped my mind that I was potentially selling stuff. Um, I kind of want to baby this process a little bit. Uh, actually, nothing's going to happen for about September. So, let's get started on some other projects, yeah? Doesn't really matter. Big on the storage as far as I can do it. That seems good to me. Chemical factory as far as I can go. Building. There we go. Spin the clock up a little bit so I get some cash. Make that. Make that. Make that. Now, let's limit some of the products here because I don't want everything to get flooded. Well, I set everything to one. No big deal. And now we just got our cash money. Cash money! Two platforms should be fine. Again, as far as we can go with it. That makes more sense to me. Okay, so now... We plug all this in. Okay, how much... How many glass do we have? And this guy's already got three juice. Awesome. Your services are now no longer needed. That was a really expensive mistake. I really don't like myself for that. <laughs> anyway. I need you to go here. And gnome it up. And then go here. And drop it off. Okay. See, this is the same problem again. I put the one I want you to go to first on top, but let's do this. Okay, that's better. Whoa, held down plus a lethal too long. Just a lethal. I want you to go ape crap on this uh, fruit juice. I want this done. Okay, first load of gnomes. I'm going to slow down the clock because I'm sure we have another set of gnomes ready to go. And we do. I don't need this anymore because I can't sell it. And once that train comes back around, we're going to just throw away the rest of the gnomes. Oh, right. The point I was trying to get to before is I'm crazy paranoid about overloading a warehouse with too much of one product. Because I don't control this warehouse. I can't click on it. I can't destroy it. I can't do anything about it. If I put too many garden gnomes in there, the logic is I'm screwed. Because I won't have enough room for other stuff. So that's why I'm very much babying this entire process to ensure that everything is good. So we're going to get our second load of fruit juice in here. And then I'm going to reposition this train to do something else. And drop, and I'm going to stop time. We're going to take care of this train, and then I think we're going to call this a break. Actually, you know what? I'm going to call this a break right now. Uh, I'm going to do exactly what I said. I'm going to throw out the gnome, so there's no possible chance. How is there glass here? Chuck. <laughs> oh, probably from the train I repurposed. Uh, I must have dropped it off here. Um, so, everything's good. We're on a really good pace, I think. We've got seven more years. Fruit juice is done. Gnomes are about to be done. The steel, aluminum, plastics, all this stuff actually is pretty quick. The donuts and the preserved meat, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful about, but this is all very doable. Uh, small mistakes so far. Had to rebuild our glass factory, but things are looking pretty good. So yeah, thanks for joining me. Name's John Megacycle, and I hope to catch you next time for more Industry Giant 2. Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and game with my crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.